YouTube, it's Tyson Pro Combat, and well today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do one of my most commonly asked questions. Now people keep asking me how do I download free fonts onto my computer and how do I make them available in all of my programs like Photoshop, um, Microsoft Word, Notepad, WordPad, and stuff like that. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do just that. Alright, so here I have two great websites that provide free fonts. One is 1001freefonts.com and the other is dovefont.com. The links to both these sites will be in the video description as always. Now I'm just going to go ahead and choose um, a random font that I like. So um, this one looks good and it just happens to be the first font on dovefont.com. So and just click download um, right here it just says download so I'm just going to click on that. And you should this window should pop up. And it's gonna open it with WinRAR. Finish downloading, and here it is. So now I'm gonna extract it to my desktop. Close that, close that, and minimize that. All right. So some websites might give you two files. Um, the font.com just happens to give me two files. One is the main file that I'm gonna need, and the other is the file for Mac users. So you want to sort out the main text file, the text file that you're going to need. And um, it should look something like this. It should either have um, two T's, a big red A, or a little circle type looking thing, an oval. Let's, let's say an oval. So um, this one happens to have two T's, and it, it should say the name of the font that you just downloaded. And so you just want to select that, um, right click on it, and press copy. Now you want to go to your start menu and click on my computer. And once um, my computer pops up, you just want to click on, double click on your C drive. And then you want to find the folder. You want to locate the folder that says Windows. Double click on that. And then you want to find the folder that says Fonts and double click on that. And it's going to show you all of the fonts that you have on your computer at that time. So um, right now I have all these fonts on my computer. So now all you have to do is basically copy and paste that font that you just downloaded into this folder and it will be located on your computer so you can use it in any program that offers um, like that you could use fonts and text with. So how you paste it, um, just go to edit and click on paste and it's going to say it's going to say installing font one of one and then or it's going to say installing font one of how many you want to download. And then it's just going to download it or install it into your into this folder. And there you have it. Um, the font's ready to use. So let's just give it a test. So here I have WordPad. I'm going to change the font size to 72. And I'm going to find the font that I just downloaded, which its name is, I believe, District. So let's find that. A, B, C, D, D. Here it is. So let's type T, S, G, B. And there it is. Um, that's the font I just downloaded. It looks pretty cool. Has a nice grunge um, texture, grunge effect to it. And so that's basically it. Uh, it's really that simple. And once once you install it into that folder, um, it's ready to use in any program. So you don't have to like go one by one and install it in every program. And so that's basically it. Um, Textbook on bad here. And until the next time, until the next tutorial, I'll see you guys later.